Anthony Volleyball has just started their district play, coming off of a loss against Plano, but a tightly contested five-set match, and they're set up well going into district play to try and make the playoffs. I'm joined by their head coach, Jessica Camp. And Coach, it was a tough game for you against Plano. You lose in five sets, a game that you're up two sets to none. And on one side of the coin, you see it as you got the two sets off of Plano, which a team last year obviously was 0-10 in district. So improvement there. But at the same time, you want to close those games out. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we're, we're to the point where you know taking a team to five, a good team to five is good. Um, and last year, we would have been ecstatic about it. But this year, we need to win those. Um, and you know, going five is fun and exciting, but it's still a loss. So losing 3-0 or 5-2 is a, or 3-2 is still a loss. So we need to win those. When we were talking earlier, you mentioned how once you got the two sets and none lead, your players started to let the nerves get to them a little bit. What is the biggest focus, you think, on helping them to, to calm those nerves? Um, we're still working on that uh, because we didn't see that in, in preseason. Uh, they just went out and played and never got nervous about uh, beating a team. I think it's just coming out into 5A and they haven't won a game in district last year or this year. And so I think they just get um, really nervous about finishing it and actually doing something we've talked so much about. Um, so we're just trying to, we're just trying to calm those uh, nerves and we're trying to encourage each other and um, let each kid understand that they're capable of doing it. And as a team, we're very capable of doing it. Overall in the season now, you're 22 and nine. So the belief has finally started to come with these players. They know they can beat some of the good teams. And one of the games that really helped them realize that was when you beat Rockwall Heath two sets to none earlier. Yeah, beating Rockwall was good um, because they're big and uh, just like all the teams in our district. And I think the kids went in kind of thinking, oh gosh, they're really good, I don't know. And we just came out and, and played well and, and took that match. Uh, so hopefully that'll bleed over into some of the district as well. And Coppell's another one of those teams that's a top five area team, and they pretty much stayed there the entire season. You took them to five sets, which against the team that won the state title last year in 5A, that really had to spark a lot of fire under your players. Mm -hmm. And we had played them earlier in the season, and they, they beat us pretty good. And then coming back and taking on five was, was good, and it was a step for us, but again, it, it's still a loss. Um, and so we wanna, we've got to start changing those losses to wins. Offensively, your team is a smaller team going up against a lot of bigger teams, especially in your district. But you've been able to produce a lot of offense with your players up front. Aaron Hoppy and Claire Embry have, in particular, been outstanding so far this year. Yes, those two are doing a great job and uh, allow us to move the ball around. Um, and those two are our biggest, <laughs> biggest players. But then we have uh, other kids that just, they're small, but they're athletic and smart. Uh, and I would, I mean, I wouldn't trade them for anything. They just work hard and they get the job done. So we, we're able to move the ball around and hit from every position. And that's something that a lot of teams aren't always able to do. Megan Drummond's one of your players that is up there in the stat sheet. She's the number one player in the 5A area in terms of number of aces hit in a match. And we're, when we were talking earlier, you said that either she'll make the ace or she'll hit a service error. It's, yes. it's go for broke <laughs> with her. Yeah, she, she does a good job. She has a crazy float serve that um, goes pretty fast and it, it gets a lot of kids confused, um, which a lot of times it would probably be out, but it's, they're scared it's going to hit them. <laughs> so, but she does a good job and whenever it's clinch time and she needs to put it in, she makes sure that she does that. Um, but she does, she gets us a lot of points off of her serve. You have a lot of other players that have been up there in the area. I mentioned earlier Aaron Hoppy and Claire Embry, they're both tied for 10th in kills per game in the area. And another player that has done really well so far for you this year is Ashley Robert, another freshman. Mm -hmm. She's a defensive player, and she's been spectacular back there for you. Yes, um, Ashley's been fantastic. She is a solid kid. Um, a freshman that comes on and is a libero for our team, uh, and she's just very consistent. Her serve-receive is outstanding. Um, and defensively, once she kind of figured out how we wanted everything to be run on defense, she's just stepped up and very consistent. You never look at her and think she's having a bad day because if she makes an error, she just regroups and comes back out and does, does something good. It's so important to have a, a stalwart back there, especially in a district where you're going to have some of the heaviest hitters that are out there in girls volleyball. And she's a freshman. How do you think throughout the course of this district, you know, a freshman is going to be able to handle that sort of pressure that's going to be on her? Um, I think she's going to be fine. She's played a lot 
um, and she's played at a high level. And so I'm not concerned with her getting nervous about big hitters or anything like that. She's just a solid kid um, and just kind of takes a challenge and goes with it. So she's doing good. You have another freshman that's going to come back to the team off of a little bit of an injury in Caroline Anderson. And she's someone that's another weapon for you to use offensively, another change of pace that you can have to, to try and move around the opposing defense. Mm -hmm. and, and Caroline's small, and I feel like that's kind of our secret weapon <laughs> because people look at her and they're like, oh, we got this. But she's so smart. She can hit around blocks and um, throw in some different roll shots and tips that are really surprising for her and her size. Um, but she does a good job, and we're really excited to have her back. She's just been, like, so antsy to get back. She's like, Coach, I'm fine, I'm fine. But we wanted to take the right measures to make sure she's 100% when she does. So we're excited and to have her back. You want to make sure you have her for the long haul yes. in this season. <laughs> yeah. Your next two games are, are very important for you. They're against Plano East and Plano West, two good teams, but two teams that really are going to be competing for that sport fourth mm -hmm. spot you know, in the playoffs or the third and fourth spots in this district. Obviously, four out of six teams make it in. If you can get these two wins, it gives you a good cushion for the rest of district play. So what's the mindset going into these? Um, well, our mindset going into tomorrow is just uh, to get that first win. And I feel like that part of our problem is that we don't always believe individually that, we can, that we're capable of doing it. Um, of course, I tell them all the time that I believe in them because I do, and I think that they can, they can do anything that they want to do. Um, but hopefully we'll just get this first win against East and then go into West with that confidence and knowledge that we are capable of doing it. Uh, and then we can hit our next week with Allen and Boyd. Yeah, you want to try and get a couple of wins going <laughs> yes. up against those two teams. Yeah. And, but certainly you've proven all year long that you're able to mm -hmm. not only compete with some of the best teams in the area, but you've beaten a couple of top ten mm -hmm. teams in the area so far this year. Coach Cam, good luck to you for the Thank rest you. of the season. Thank you very much. McKinney Lions right now in volleyball district player 0-1 after a t close five-set loss to Plano but they have nine games left in district to try and pile up the wins they need to make the playoffs. And as everyone Wells knows, if you can make the playoffs out of 10-5A in volleyball, you can have a pretty good playoff run. Typically, these teams go very deep in the playoffs.